YouTube, it's your boy John, your girl Drene, and your boy Michael down here at the Jersey Shore. Today we're gonna be carving some pumpkins in front of y'all. And who's y'all? There you go. So All right. Hi, y'all. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's roll. All right, so. For sake of time, we already cut the tops off of our jack-o'-lanterns, off of our pumpkins, and we already took the guts out. We drew the faces on, so more or less we're just on here carving and talking, and then we'll put the lights in there and turn off the lights so you can see the finished product. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, hey, happy Halloween, everybody. By the time you see this video, Halloween probably might have already happened. So... Did you get candy? Did you get the email you want? Did you find that house down the street that constantly sells really big candy bars? Sells? <laughs> what kind of Halloween trick-or-treating you doing? A trick? You trick them into buying stuff and you trick them into making a business out of you? Trick-or-treat when you're taking money from kids and giving them candy. And that officially is the first piece done. Huh? That was officially the first piece out. Oh, I feel accomplished. Yeah. Yeah, man. I oh. feel great. <laughs> it's not a competition, Pat. I don't know. I'm just saying. It's exciting. So how about you guys out there? Do you guys carve pumpkins? Yeah. And how are your pumpkins looking? Make sure that your pumpkins, you tweet out to him. Yeah, send like pictures right of your jack-o'-lanterns. To John D. Ells at John D. Ellsworth on Twitter, which you can see floating above my hands right now. <laughs> You'd be pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at what? Doing YouTube? Product placement, name placement, and so on and so forth. You're like a little expert. You've been doing all this stuff longer than I have. No, I haven't. I haven't even tried any sort of editing software yet. So I got a couple new subscribers this week. Uh, unfortunately, awesome. I can't see any names because if your uh, YouTube name is not made public, I can't see your name. So I can't thank you on here other than just simply by saying thank you. Though, I would probably like to, uh, to say this. Thank you for 30 subscribers. It has been not even that long, and already we are hitting milestones. We hit 10 subscribers in the first month slash weeks last month, and already we're up to 30 subscribers. That's in the double digits well, times ten three. double digits. <laughs> yeah, we're in the double digits times three. And this is going to be video number 40. Yep. We have come a long way and it hasn't even been that long. So, everybody, give themselves a big thank you and a round of applause. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support because I feel like that we appreciate you. Yeah, with, with your subscriptions, you probably just think this is just something and you're going to get content from us. But really, we appreciate it and we love it. And okay, we love you guys. My love, pumpkin. <laughs> I know, but not a race, but you do need to finish. <laughs> yeah, we don't want a four-hour pumpkin video. Kind of like how you did a one-hour video on a movie review. We go too long; these people will be smashing pumpkins. Ha ha ha! No. <laughs> 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 What about Smashing Pumpkins? Nothing. Your mother hates Smashing Pumpkins, and I'm a dork. Can I smash my own pumpkin? Not in the house. Well, that part's obvious enough. Mom would kill me. Wouldn't you, Mom? Oh, I love my mom. 
So who out there goes trick or treating? Yeah. Do you do you still go trick or treating? Yeah, fun fact. I actually heard from somewhere. It's probably not true, but that people are thinking about placing a law that people over the age of thirteen or fourteen, I think it was, cannot go trick or treating. Well, you do have to get to a certain point, buddy, where you really shouldn't be out there trick or treating with a bunch of little kids. Well, yeah, that part. That part's obvious. Except when you're an adult and you're trick or treating with your little boy or your little girl. Well, yeah. Yeah, but we're not trick or treating. We're just taking the kids. Yeah, you know I mean, sometimes you gotta have a little fun in life. No, we come home and then eat your candy. Yep. Well, actually, now you can't because there's something going on in my school where I just have to go and. Well, any excess candy you don't want, just give to them. If that's only fun size. You can't. Anything larger. No, they don't eat. say large. Yes, they it does. say, don't it's say just... large size candy or loose candy. That's what they said. Yeah, they said it has to be the. Fun size. So have you guys watched your fellow horror movies in the last couple weeks? I have watched quite a few, and I'm going to try and get a few more in in the next couple days. Yeah, we already went to all those really good Halloween places. Gotta admit, my favorite one had to be Eastern State. It was just... It's a completely different animal from the stuff we went to, like Creamy Acres. We went to the Junkyard of Terror, I think it was. Terror in the Junkyard. Terry in the Junkyard. Terry in the Junkyard. Terror. <laughs> yeah, not Terry. <laughs> Terry was there. Terry's <laughs> hanging out in the Junkyard. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I, must, uh, I agree. Eastern State Penitentiary was amazing. Yeah, like everybody says Creamy Acres is the best. Those are the people who haven't gone to Eastern State yet. That is correct. We hadn't gone to Eastern State yet, and we were all just sitting here thinking, oh, Creamy Acres is the max. That's as good as it's going to get. And, oh, boy, were we wrong. So the last... Listen, Creamy Acres, sorry. Okay. Creamy Acres is the best in New Jersey. Because Eastern State is in Pennsylvania. It's the best in New Jersey that we've been to so far. Yeah. Next year, we're going to try. I would like to try. We haven't set anything in stone yet. But I would like to try Brighton Asylum. Where's that at? Someplace up north. Oh, yeah. That's really interesting when you first brought that up. So the next thing that we need to do, or that I'm going to do... Um, other than trick-or-treating tomorrow night, on Friday, the three of us are all off. So I am going to go to all of the Halloween, everywhere that sells Halloween decorations and Halloween-themed stuff, because it's all going to be 50% off. So I'm going to go buy some more junk for my basement. And here I am, the one person waiting for Thanksgiving and most for me, mostly, Christmas. Not even because they're friends, because Christmas is the most joyful and happy time of the year. That's why it's my, my favorite. favorite holiday. And the Hallmark movies. The Hallmark movies are devastating. <laughs> I probably would like them more if they didn't have the same topic, though. They're having a Hallmark uh, convention in a... Like East Rutherford, I think. And you're going to be going? Uh, I did think about it. What in the world do they do at a Hallmark convention? Probably. They have a lot of um, stars there. Yeah, but they're they all... have like the same. The only reason I don't. A lot like... of people are in the same like. Yeah, there's only like nine of them. They're in all the movies. Yeah, the only reason I don't like Hallmark is because they all just do the same thing in all their movies. I don't Woman, care. It's, yeah, I know, I know. That's, just, that's the only reason I don't really watch Hallmark. If they just had a little more uniqueness to them, I would always watch them. Throw a pumpkin on the floor. I'm going to be all nasty and sticky. Oh, pumpkins on the floor. Nasty and sticky. So what are some of your Halloween traditions out there? Do you guys like going to the haunted houses and haunted hayrides and trick-or-treating and 
all that kind of stuff? Do you carve pumpkins? Do you watch horror movies? What do you guys do? Yeah, leave it. We do all of that stuff. Leave it down in the comments below. Now. Lean in. Lean in? Yeah. Lean in, YouTube. Come on. A little bit farther. A little bit farther. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Huh? A little bit farther. Right there, you see that button. It says subscribe. Smash it. Not smash it. That would be. Our button's very delicate. You gotta. Mm, little Caress little the time. subscribe button. Caress the subscribe button. Eventually, it'll turn gray. I believe. Just a theory. But and hit like that bell. And when you hit that thing. You gotta be loud and proud that you actually busted a mist and it turned gray. I want you to hit that bell and ring it as far as the lands can possibly get. Yeah, it sounded like a car sale. And then from all the lands around, people will come and they will hear your bells. And they will come and they'll ring car. their own bells. Car. They'll ring their own bells. Ring that bell. Woo! Oh, ring the bell! Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! Click that subscribe button! Ring that bell! Woo! When you hit that subscribe button, that's mm, caress it right there. And you are gonna see one big gray button. It looks like a thumbs up. I want you to go over there, caress that button, and then smash it. Smash it with all you got. That's some wisdom. That's some wisdom right Are you there. still working on your pumpkin or what? I'm carving the nose. I'm just saying, I'm putting y'all on a quest. A quest for greatness. A quest to help the journey of John on his quest name, Project Ellsworth. That may as well be a channel name, Project Ellsworth. Well, the channel name was John's journey initially. And still remains John's journey. And probably will still remain John's journey. It will remain John's journey. But the reason for the Project Ellsworth is when I first loaded up the channel, I did not know what I was doing. And I saw that there were other people out there with the name John's journey. So I figured to be slightly different, I would do Project Ellsworth. So now I wound up with basically two names. Yeah, but Project Ellsworth and Johnny John Jim. So I'm kind of going with the idea. Woo! John's Journey, Project Ellsworth. Subscribe, it's right there. Cross that little boy. Wait. <laughs> You're a strange bird. <laughs> Didn't even mean to say it like that. So the whole idea was leaving it as Project Ellsworth is John's Journey is the name of the channel, and Project Ellsworth is basically me working on me, trying to get the business up and running, trying to do things, you know, trying to be a better person and grow. So the project is growth, channel growth, personal growth. That's the kind of idea. So that's the project. I'm the project. Yeah. He's our little You're test project. subject. And I am a project. He is our little test subject. He's our big little test project. Biggie small. So for those of you out there who subscribe to my channel, thank you for subscribing. For those of you out there who have not subscribed to my channel, Click that subscribe button and come on this journey with us. There you go. Michael, where did you put those batteries? I uh, put them up right there, I'd say. No, uh, in there. I already put the batteries in his light. Great, I want to use the other one. Well, then the batteries are still in his light. He brought up the batteries, I put them in. The light is in my pumpkin. Honey, I put the batteries in that light. And that's in my pumpkin. Okay, so you just asked him where the batteries were. He got the batteries for me, and I was asking where he put the package because I need some more batteries. So there. you need more batteries, not yes. those batteries. All right, now I know what you're talking about.
Problem resolved. The key to any good relationship is communication. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, that's just some sissy stuff. But no, 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 no. You got that wrong, big bro. Anybody that thinks that that is sissy stuff. A lot of people think communication is uh, just some sissy stuff that doesn't need to happen. But one of the main things <coughs> is communication. Because do you think that the human race would have gotten this far if Brad Pitt couldn't speak up and become an actor? What? Yes, the world would be just fine. <laughs> the world would not be fine without Brad Pitt. Yes, it would. I Absolutely disagree. Not. We, without Brad Pitt, no World War Z. That's not a world that I want to live in. So maybe it would somebody else. You love Benjamin Button? No, but I love my nephew named Ben. Oh, the name. Benjamin Button. How much of that do you have left? The whole mouth. The whole mouth? Yeah. Got some of the mouth done. Yeah, this thing's offended. This is not very good equipment. It's what? pumpkin carving equipment, buddy. It's not high dollar stuff. You buy it at the grocery store. Take your time. Don't go hacking away at it. Did you do this growing up? Did I do what? Did you guys carve pumpkins? The first jack-o'-lantern that I ever carved in my entire life was with you. Oh. No, I did not carve pumpkins growing up. We didn't either. Mm. I Why? have been my entire life, but I've only been alive 12 years, so I don't really got to say this. My very first one I ever did was a hotel. I've never done anything other than just a straight up jack o' lantern face. It was great, too. I don't have the patience for stuff like that. It's more or less like a haunted house, so to speak. But uh, I think I put the our hotel up. You have to thin out the pumpkin, right? It's not cutting it away. You're thinning it out, right? No, that one I actually cut out. Okay. Um, you okay over there? Yeah, I have a little bit of trouble. What are you having trouble with? Trying to get the sucker out. It's like strips. Uh, that's a grand I don't think I've ever done just a jack on face. Done. So you've done complicated, you haven't done simple. Right. Simple is great. Complicated. You, I, I, don't, so I don't, wouldn't be able to do it because I don't have the patience to do it. And with this whole theory of this being supposed to be fun, that would not be fun for me, so I would not do that. The one I was going to do last time, when they all got messed up, I think that one I should have carved away, not cut into. Because mm -hmm. a lot of those ones that have a lot of that open space, I can't imagine it's just supposed to be open. It seems like it should be carved away, not like that one picture. It was such a big open space, it kind of looks weird. A little bit funky. I see the problem. So tomorrow night, Michael's going out is, I don't even know what you would call it. He's wearing a black skin-tight leotard and a, is that a clown face or is that a bear face? What is that? I don't know. And a, Definitely a black clown. and gray clown face and he's going to carry a meat cleaver. Yeah, but not to school. So it's going to be, so yeah, he can't wear a mask to school, which kind of defeats the purpose of Halloween, if you ask me. Yes, he's just going to get just, a Without masks, you just got a bunch of kids wearing funky clothes to school. And yeah, you also can't wear inflatables. And he can't bring weapons, which I get the weapons thing. Yeah, the weapons. So tomorrow he's just going to be the weird kid sitting in class in a black leotard. <laughs> I remember the good old days when kids were like, wore those masks. Back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, like Michael Myers wore when he was a little kid. Like Casper. And mm -hmm. No idea who you guys are talking about, but it sounds like a good time. Good old fashioned moment. I used to wear a mask. And you used to go get your Halloween costume. You came in a little box with a clear plastic lid. 
And the plastic, the suit was just a, a, a plastic one-piece suit with a mask, with a plastic mask that stuck to your head with a string that wrapped around the back of your head. And that was Halloween. Yeah, sounds pretty good. You done? Yeah, I'm just clearing out some of the pumpkin. Okay. Who is the his, one of the best moments of my life? Oh, my young life. You're a strange <laughs> kid, man. Oh, my young life has reached its climax today. Okay, but don't turn around the pumpkins. That part's gonna be on the montage, which will occur in three, two, one, and done. Okay. And then you would skip to the clip of that I'm going to send you in the dark, which is just going to be me recording this in the with my phone in the pitch black dark. And you know, all right, here we go. Get ready, to turn that, around. That's not what. Michael, come on. I need to wipe it off. Hey, they're not going to be able to see them. It's not enough light to see anything like that. Alright, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to go to, on this journey with me and the rest of us. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And thank you for watching. Happy Halloween. Hit that button right there. Caress it. And the bell. Okay. Caress the bell as well. Happy Halloween.